Yeah, bang bang rail. Um, I just watched the film. Uh, the, sorry, the video box on where Ronnie Redrup fought so Cliff Bill for the title, and Cliff Bill smashed him all around the back, all around the place. And I, I know I remember sitting in the dressing rooms with Cliff and talking about what was he think of Ronnie Redrup, but Ronnie Redrup, and he's saying, well, it, years ago, Ray, a long time ago, he was an ABA champion, but that was a long time ago, you know what I mean? So he said he's had a few pro fights as well. He said, but honestly, Ray, he said, I'm just going to stop him, mate. He said, I'm just going to stop him. He said, this for the title. He said, I've got a nice bit of money as well. 10 grand, I think he got. He said, I'm just going to knock him out, stop him. He's, he's been no problem for me, mate. He's small, he's slow, no problem. And it's exactly what he said, Cliff. He was smaller, slower, and Cliff just really, really hurt him. Well, when he was before the fight, uh, when Cliff Fields was sitting there, I've said it a long time ago, um, you've got Lenny walked in there with with uh, Frankie Warren. So as he walked in with Frankie Warren, Vic Andretti's also come in, right? So Cliff Fields is saying to, to Frankie Warren, um, what time's the fight on and this, that, and now just chatting, just talk, yeah? Frankie Warren said, I'm so, 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 you've got about four or five fights yet. She said, just take it nice and easy. You know, just warm yourself up a bit, a bit and crack on. So Cliff feels like just minding his own business, wasn't telling you. And then he starts, Lenny, then he's saying, well, I think that uh, Red Rock was going to beat you. And I think he's going to bash you right up you know, to Cliff, yeah? And Cliff Field says, listen, if he bashes me up, Len, why not? He said, I'm going to come out of the ring and bash you up <laughs> to Lenny, right? Lenny's got really leery. Uh, gone over to Cliff Field, getting all over the top, really. He's only 16 and a half stone. you got Cliff's about 19 stone, big, powerful guy. And just quickly, just jump, done Lenny's legs. And Lenny got on the floor. Big Antretti's rushed in. Jimmy Tibbetts with help, help me, Cliff. And it, it don't kick off as such, but... Lenny was only tiny compared with Cliff, right? But Lenny said to Cliff, yeah, well, it's all publicity. It's all like, it was what Lenny wanted because he loves all that, yeah? So Cliff feels saying, listen, if you want to get it on, I'll get it on anywhere. I'll get it on in a phone box if you fancy that, Lenny McLean. So Lenny McLean said, listen, do what you got to do first to see you win the fight. But I think when Lenny see him, fight one road drops and he smashed him to pieces. I think Lenny's bottle didn't go, but he knew that he couldn't fight Cliff Fields at the way he was. So when Lenny, Vic Andretti and Warren talked to talk to uh, Cliff Fields after the fight, when they paid him the money or whatever they paid him, he was saying, uh, thank you Warren, that Cliff Fields would you fight Lenny? And Cliff Phil said, of course I'll fight him. I'll fight him anywhere, mate. You know, I'll fight him anywhere, but I'd like to fight him in the phone box. You know, <laughs> this is Cliff. So, so Frankie Warren said to Cliff Fields, okay, I'll get it going. But it took about six, seven months for, for actually, they did get in the ring, yeah? But you know what happened? Cliff uh, bashed up uh, Lenny Badge, yeah? And then Lenny trained really, really hard again, uh, put more weight on, got on the roids, and then Cliff bashed him up even worse the next time. And he bankrupted Cliff. He bankrupted Lenny, didn't he? He, he smashed him up. But on the box on, on the box on, um, I always thought um, that Cliff Fields wouldn't get beat by anybody at any time. I don't think he'd get But Someone told me, I don't know how true it is, I know Shaka beat Lenny. But someone told me that Shaka beat Cliff Fields. I've never been able to find that out. But if you can find it out, did Shaka beat Cliff Fields, yeah? Because I know Lenny lost seven fights out of 12, yeah? He lost one to Roy. He lost one to Kevin Paddock. He lost two to Cliff Fields or three. He lost two to uh, Warren, didn't he? Uh, I mean, uh, jo Johnny Waldron. And he lost one to Shaka, so that's seven fights. That six, I thought he'd, 
he then song was on me seven, so it must have been Shaka Check. Let me know, please. But you know, but then they said to me that well, you know, well, he lost he lost six fights, seven fights out of, or six fights out of twelve, but he won three thousand fights on the cobbles. I said, there's no way in a million years Danny McLean fought three thousand fights on the cobbles. I don't give a monkey's who you are. You couldn't do that. I said he'd be on his heels. I bet he'd be smashed to pieces. His face is ripped to pieces. I mean, Barty Gorman is about the only one I know who's had about a thousand, not even that. Barty Gorman, you know, there ain't many big, powerful men like Barty Gorman. And, but Lenny, I think, I should imagine Lenny's had maybe five, four or five hundred fights on, 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 on the street and maybe won, won quite a lot of them, yeah? But not three thousand. And also, also was Terry Downs was there, yeah? Terry Downs, and, and, and I could, when I walked over to Terry, right, because Terry Downs is like a legend to me, yeah? I used to work in Terry Downs' club, not work in there as such, but, you know, be one of the chaps in there, because it was Johnny, Johnny Hanlon. Johnny Hanlon worked in there, Terry Downs' club in Holston, yeah? But John, Johnny Hanlon I knew, so I'd go in there sometimes just... You know, be around John. John was all right with me for a little while, but John would sometimes get a bit nutty and went have a fight. You know what I mean? But and who else was there? I mean, there was quite some faces there. You know, some proper faces. Um, and Frankie Warren, I think I should imagine Frankie Warren got a right few about that fight box on. But when I see it, and I think to myself, why couldn't I have a video like that? Well, I did in my show and acting show and all. But I could never, I could, I can't find the video, and it's like it's such a good video. You know what I mean? I can't never find it. I've asked uh, so many people, did they have it? Have they got it? No, you know. So the only one I know who's got it is a guy called Bob Coleman, was from my co-promoter, and I can't get hold of him. It's very, very hard. I think he lives in Canada or something, some way out of the way place. Uh, Freddie Foreman, uh, he was there. Fred, Fred, Freddie Foreman. I was sitting behind Fred, Freddie Foreman. And when I look at the, when I look at box on uh, the video and I see Freddie Foreman, I can't believe at that time we're all young, you know what I mean. But I can't believe how Freddie Foreman looks. He looks so young, mate. He's I mean, he, looks so, he looks so young, you know what I mean. And like just goes to show you, over the years, uh, if you don't look after yourself, mate, it just comes. It just creeps up. One day you wake up in the morning, you just like. You look 90, you know what I mean? He doesn't look, I mean, you know, I can't believe that's really formal. When you see it, you're going to go, wow, is that Fred? But anyway, I liked I liked the, the video. I really liked it. Um, I liked it more so because of my old mates that are dead. Uh, Columbo's dead. Um, and there's a few on there. Uh, I think uh, Lord Waltham's dead. Terry Coombs died. Terry Sharp died. You know, all them, my, my mates died. Um, when, you know, when I, when I, when I come out of there with Jimmy Tibbet and we met, we met, um, what you call it, uh, uh, Eddie Richardson, uh, and, and I said, I was talking to Eddie about, about, um, about Kevin, Kevin Paddock, yeah? And I, and I said to him, uh, look, Kevin Paddock wants to fight me, can I have a fight at the Rainbow? And not the Rainbow, so like Casper Strapham, yeah? And he said, Eddie Richardson said, yeah, yeah, you can fight there. So I thought Kevin Paddock there. He says it was at Guildford. I can't see it being at Guildford. I thought it was at Cat's Whiskers Stratton. But I also boxed his brother, Sid, at the Cat's Whiskers Stratton. But he keeps saying it's Guildford. I don't know. I don't, didn't, didn't even know there was a thing at Guildford. But he said Guildford. Because I remember coming back from there and we went to the Harp and Herring in Harry Haywood and Billy Haywood's pub. Down there, got I didn't get drunk. He got drunk and say he said that at one o'clock in the morning. Got really pissed, Kevin Paddock, and Kevin Paddock, um, great fighter, mate, great fighter. Someone said, "Do I know uh, Chris Finnegan?" And do I know Kevin Finnegan? Yeah, but I know them both very well. Yeah, uh, Kevin Finnegan fought uh, Kevin Paddock for for the title. Uh, Kevin Kevin Paddock beat uh, beat. Um, no, he never. Did he beat him? No, he didn't. I don't. Th anyway, uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure. Quite sure if he beat Kevin 
Kevin no, uh, Finnegan. Did he beat Kevin Finnegan? No, I think he lost lost the title to Kevin to Kevin Finnegan, didn't he? But Kevin Paddock, mate, good fight, Kevin Paddock and Sid. Sid was a nice fellow, mate. I love Sid Paddock. He's a nice, nice guy. He's got hit by a bus and just deflated and died, mate. Um, it's you know a lot of a lot of fighters, isn't it? Look what happened to Cliff. You know the fight with Travers. Uh, some of the time he had a bit of glass in his eye, and uh, and that was it, mate. He just give up, you know. Just give up, and Cliff Fields, mate, was a diamond. And when he worked with us, he was a big, big, powerful man. You know that always when he went and got what we had to get, he got it easy. You know, no problems. Good, good grafter. And when I see him uh, at that time in the calf, I was deflated. It broke my heart, mate, because Cliff Fields was a, was a hard, hard, powerful man. Yeah, hard, hard, powerful. When I see, when I see. When I see Lenny McLean uh, in a park, I think he was, talking about his life and bits and pieces, Lenny McLean was about 22, 23 stone. He was massive, mate. He was absolutely ginormous, you know what I mean? I thought myself, Jesus Christ, look at the size of him. And that, that's when, that's when and he would want to fight anybody. <laughs> he would want to fight anybody at that weight. You know, he was an animal, mate. So that showed that Lenny was massive. He was an animal, and uh, he looked good, didn't he? Lot stop two smoky bowels. He looked the part, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But um, when I see him talking in the part like that, I went, "Wow, man, he's just massive. This guy's huge. His neck must have been about twenty-four. Huge, man. He's a powerful, man." But when he was, um, as I say, when he was fighting, he wasn't he wasn't uh, that good in the, in the ring, boxing ring, even though. Even though when I see him, I see him um, shadow boxing Lily McLean with gloves on, and he looked good, mate. He looked so fast and he looked with business, honestly. But how many fighters do you know, yeah, that get in the ring, sparring, look the part, look the real part, get on the bag, punch the bag all around the gaff, and really, really good, get on the pads, they're mustard on the pads. When it comes to having a fight, I just collapse. I just collapse. And he collapsed, mate. And then he collapsed. Then McLean collapsed quite a few times, mate. And it's, you know, it gutted me, really. Because uh, Lenny McLean was a proper man, mate. And, you know, but as I say, he couldn't, he couldn't beat Cliff. I don't think, personally, if he did get to fight Colombo, I think he'd had, his, he had, a, he had a hard job because Clumbo would never give in, mate. He just would never give in. I've seen him fight Shaka a few times. I've seen him fight lots of fighters, mate. Never give up Clumbo. Always fighting. Danny Chippendale. Well, I did see Danny Chippendale many fights, many shows. I see him uh, having, at the pubs on a Sunday having, having, having big fights, yeah? Having big, big fights as well. And Brian Hall. I mean, Brian Hall, mate. Uh, he was an old man, boy. When I fought for him, I hit him some good punches. You see, if I could get it on, I show you his face is smashed to pieces. I smashed his face to pieces. I did not hit him a few times, mate. I caught him some really, really good jab. Bang! I was it. Bang! It was going at my elbow. I was hitting him so hard, yeah. But anyway, um, rest in peace, Cliff Fields, mate. Rest in peace, uh, Roy Shaw. I, do you know what? I always thought that at Colombo, would fight Roy Shaw, always. Because when I see him in the ring that time, when he was fighting Roy Shaw, he held his own, mate. He was he was a bit near the mark, good fighter, Colombo. I liked him a lot, mate, and good trainer. As I say, he was he was one of the best, best, best there was at training and consistently, consistent, 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 always down the Beckett. He only lived across the road from the Beckett. He was only, all he was was a caretaker. But the geezers were going to really have a fight. Could really march up and got hit by a bus. How about that, mate? Don't make no sense to it. Hit by a bus. Mad. And I'll tell you who else was there. Donny Adams. Yeah, the ball. Donny Adams, the ball. Yeah, he was there. He was the referee for my for, for my fight. Uh, he was the referee for, I think, for uh, what's it, uh, Cliff Fields' fight. Yeah, he was the referee for quite a few fights. Donny Adams, I like Don, mate. Powerful man. 
But, uh, it, you know, Roy Shaw was much too powerful for him, wasn't he? You know what I mean? Too, too powerful. Even though Donny Adams had 44 bare fist fight. Now, you talk about that. Now, he had 44 bare fist fights, um, Donny Adams, yeah? Bare fist. And on the pavement, he's had about 100. So how could Lenny have 3,000 over the top of it? Anyway, but anyway, this is Bang Bang Mail. Please press the like button and subscribe. N nice one.